Oh, yeah. Now it's time to look at Ishiki versus Boruto. If Boruto was some stocks, I'd invest in because every now and then they always show flashes of greatness. Always got something up they sleeve to get your attention. It's like it's calculated. How do they do it? But let's get into it. It starts off with Ishiki dashing in towards Boruto and Naruto comes to intercept him. To which Ishiki is like, You're too slow! Disappearing, having my boy swinging at straight air. He grabs Boruto and has his feet dangling. Bullying bro in front of his unk and his pops. This is crazy disrespect. I mean like bro, he grabbing him by the collar. Sasuke couldn't watch him any longer so he trades places and boots up at your door. But unfortunately in Boruto, no one is more washed than Sasuke. All it took was Ishiki grabbing Bro's arm to make me realize he's not the same man that pulled up on the 5 Kage. And you know it's raps when villains start talking like 2007 Megatron or 2018 Thanos hit him with the you're weak. They kicks him right in the gut, sending him flying into the rocks. And after that he is just floating down, menacingly. He lands and starts talking crazy, talking about some Naruto. Square your ass up. You next. Time out, bro. Sasuke, is that what? you? No way this man is hiding right now. Him and Gohan are making the same mistake. We see you. You are not slick. Naruto puts on his cloak though and spawns nine chakra arms. And he's just standing there getting sprinted at and has no reaction. no reaction. And I just knew shit wasn't going to work. He weaves every single one of Naruto's attacks and makes it look effortless. Then he disappears having Naruto shook. His ass didn't know what to do. He's sitting there staring at the same spot and then this man comes in like a truck. It was straight heel to the face. He was not playing. After getting flung back, Naruto reaches into his very deep bag of two moves and pulls out the Shadow Clone Jutsu. And all this shit did was make Ishiki look even more cold. I knew it was Rats when I saw bro aggressively moonwalking. The clones follow him though and bro said ah, ah, and pulls this clean flip to dodge Naruto's kick. Shit was beautiful. Nothing like the shit Miles Morales was doing, bro hit the back flip for no reason. Bro, you almost jumped into him. You could have just caught him. Now bro getting electrocuted for no reason. You accomplished nothing. But hey, at least he's not Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker. My boy did a backflip and still got his shit caught. Look at this slow-mo and everything. Once he realized the shit was pointless, it was too late. But yeah, he lands and does a b-hop into a spin move. Absolutely cooking this clone. Had his ass sitting there like darn it. After he lands, you can't see his face, but you know he's staring at absolutely nothing. The way these two clones are reacting right now. They were perplexed, couldn't believe they were getting done like this. Sasuke finally decides to get his ass up now and comes running to sneak Ishiki. Him and Naruto locked eyes and they instantly knew the play. Naruto grabs Ishiki and then he pushes him towards Sasuke who has the Chidori booted up. But if you look at Ishiki closely, he got his eyes closed. And if you know any anime characters with an eye ability, they're always hitting the same exact emote, closing their eyes before reopening it. Bro, we get it. Your eyes got powers. You don't have to do this shit every time. He spawns in these large geometric heavy ass little tykes blocks and drops it down on them. And the only thing that got hurt in the process was Naruto's shadow clone. The camera cuts back to Sasuke and bro immediately starts hitting an off guard, not paying attention to a damn thing, trying to get the IG flick off by any means necessary. Bro, pay attention, he's right behind you. Are you serious, my brother? He gets hit with a standing 360 kick, puts him in the finishing cutscene and had the heavy attack form on lock. Punch sends him flying further and he comes back and chases him down into the rock. And after packing Sasuke up, he took no breaks like a MAPPA employee, just kept on going. Went after Naruto next, holding that Kawhi Leonard face, job's not finished ass villain. Still to be happy about. You're up too old. Job's not finished. He goes up to Naruto and chokes him, dips him in the rocks like sauce and takes him back up. And this is where he tries looking him directly in the eyes. But Naruto wasn't going for it, had his shit closed. Weird, buddy. You're weird. Ishiki spins him around and hits him with the Broly move, putting his back on straight rocks, had him looking like this, and then after that he takes him and tosses him away, making him hit the rock pillar and then he bounces off the ground, started hitting the same pose as the guy who died for a fit pick, I promise you it was never this serious. After falling down for the last time, a shadow cast over him, and he looks up and sees the block is trying to turn him into crushed Mario. He moves out the way like he in the action movie, jumps up, goes into his bag and pulls out the dual Rasengan. Ishiki takes it away with his eye ability and look what Naruto does. Yep, Naruto without the Rasengan is just Itadori, the only character more bagless than him. He goes to him trying to throw hands but I cannot lie to you, he gets absolutely worked. 
Look at this. Two Weave? easy dodges Weave? and y'all know he Weave Nation certified. He had to put in the overtime, the camera switches angles, and Naruto swings at him eight times. He had to block his attack to let him know it's over. He said, buddy, you went 0 for 8. It's time to hang it up. Bro hit the gut check into the bitch slap. This is diabolical work. And look at the follow through. He doing this all with a serious face. And this is one of those situations where he hit him so hard that it made him more mad. He started swinging violently to get one hidden, but still nothing. He not trying to go outside in front of his son. I feel it. He dodges Naruto's left hook and hits him with the chakra rod. And I know he's tired of this ability. He's been getting stabbed with this since the pain arc. And they haven't stopped since. And you can see the frustration in this punch attempt Weave. right here. Put his all into it. He tired of it. But it was too late. He had the other rod out and stabs him with it. Disabling both arms and it was just wraps from there. Puts the rods all over his body making him hit the Mr. Crocker posture into the capper. And to make it worse, while he was kneeling, he just kicks him in the face and starts choking him. Ishiki's just like, any last words? But it's like, bro, you're choking me. How am I supposed to give my final speech? He spawns the other block over him and lets it crush him. And this is really kind of wild because even though he got his ass beat, body stabbed with chakra rods, and had an 80-ton block land on him, he's just somehow still alive and breathing under all that. I mean, look at this. Even if he doesn't die from that block, how is he not suffocating? But anyways, the camera cuts to Boruto unearthing Sasuke, and he is pissed. Really, nigga? I know y'all saw him hiding earlier, bruh. He not trying to fight. Sasuke just like, man, go away. Then Boruto's like, but dad. I'm not your dad. Dad. I'm not your dad father i am not your father and after all that yelling ishiki finally finds them look at him bro he's standing like he lost his mom in the grocery store bro let's go with them he raises his hand up and i thought he was trying to wave at him but he was spawning in chakra rods to stab board so just like he did his father sasuke's just like not on my watch switches places and takes the hit for boruto and it was revealed that sasuke switching was a part of ishiki's plan then sasuke says next time boruto leave me the fuck alone sasuke falls to the floor and boruto is left alone to deal with ishiki and this gotta be one of the biggest mismatches of all time his go on on namek moment started to get tortured ishiki broke his arm and had him wilding out looking like the uh go stupid guy and gets kicked up in the air yeah, Brody didn't have to do all this. He ends it off by stepping on his back and leaving him there. Then the camera cuts to Naruto and Kurama. He's talking to Naruto with that scary ass villain voice. He just like, Naruto, your fucking ass. I just spoke to Kishimoto. He said he's willing to bail your ass out one last time. I bet. You see what they be giving Goku? I needed some new shit anyways. He clasps his hands together and gives him the power up. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. He goes into the sky looking like fireworks. He got this, it's a bird, it's a plane, ass entrance. Comes crashing down to get Ishiki off Boruto. And the cameraman was getting all the angles of this form. Started from the bottom and twirling up to the top. Someone give this man his raise, he got Naruto looking clean. But nah, look how far away Ishiki is, bro. He not ready for the smoke. This is where the hands get really crazy, so I'm gonna have to slow it down and break it down. Let's get into it. Despite the obvious fear this man Ishiki has, he charges at him first. He dodges and Naruto has him reaching for God himself. Then he does a sweeping kick and tries to headshot him. Shit wasn't going for him. The camera changes angles and we see that Naruto is giving him that same straight face treatment. Having the battle to see who's the most nonchalant fighter. I ain't even a cow. I became very nonchalant. He hits him in the gut and it sends him flying back. And I just want you to sit here and look at him. He trying to move the hand away like it ain't hurt for real. Now nah, we know you felt that. The face doesn't lie. You mad as shit right now. That no emotion phase is over. He tries going after him but starts tippy toeing on this man's hands. Then hey, he hits yo. a split. Then immediately the next frame he tries to act like he ain't do it. Bro we saw you. He tries kicking him and gets blocked. Then the cameraman decides to go into Kurama's domain. And we see that Ishiki is still getting worked. Like look at these two missed kicks. Who are you aiming at? Yao Ming? The cameraman goes back and gives us a normal view, and we catch Ishiki giving bro a high five. He tries hitting him and misses two more times, and looking at Naruto's hair, I know that win feels good as hell from all Ishiki's misses. He hits him with a right hook, gut checks him, and bodies him out the frame. I'm crying, Brody getting hit with Kung Fu Panda moves, he not serious. He started yelling like he's Super Saiyan, but someone need to remind him that he'd get packed up by Yamcha. You're, You're not, not one guy. of them, bro. Okay. He did all that yelling to get his ankles broken first move. Then he comes back in, gets blocked, and Naruto tosses him away. You'd think he'd give up after that, but nah, he comes back for third. And this gotta be a taunt in itself. 
We Why is he eye tracking that singular miss like that? Every other attack, he's been looking straight forward. But this next thing he does is blatant disrespect, bro. Why is he walking and swatting away the attacks like they some damn flies? Like, bro, he backhanded this kick away. Is that not crazy? He blocks one more attack and goes on the offensive. Catching his arm, hitting him in the jaw, completely distorting his face. Then my man hits a spin move into the back, but uh, he's not, not finished, finished because he does a spin move in the other direction and kicks him in his sides. That boy Ishiki is going through it. Got his whole body shaped like a crescent moon. Kicks him away, and Ishiki spawns in those cubes again. But this time, Naruto is not moving. So you know he's gonna body the attack. The cube lands on him, and he lifts that shit up and tosses it to him. He said, hold that. He dodges it though and jumps off the cube. Richie meets Naruto just waiting right above him. He kicks him down, and then he gets smashed into the ground. And if Never Give Up was a person, I'm not gonna lie, it would really be him. Because even after all that embarrassment and pain, he still charges at Naruto, only to get caught and get rocked in the face. Turns him into the red beam attachment in Call of Duty. And to make it worse, that punch made his face repeatedly slide off the ground. It's like, damn, bro, how am I supposed to take this man serious? They destroying him. Naruto hits the Rock Lee pose and tells him to pull up. I'm watching actually praying he doesn't because how many times does he have to teach you a lesson before you learn? He still goes in and gets his shit cooked. No surprise. Ishiki throws another punch and Naruto dodges it. Had Ishiki hitting the believe it. Naruto grabs his arm, then minks him twice with the same foot. He turns around, hits him with the back of the heel, sending him sliding back. And then Ishiki does the unthinkable. You know that one move that doesn't work in Dragon Ball? Yeah. He blasts family. He brought that shit to this show except with chakra rods he throws a set of chakra rods sees it doesn't work and guess what he does he throws more of them yeah brody must have been possessed by the soul of vegeta because this made no sense and naruto walked out of that shit unharmed he looks up to see that ishiki is trying to be the american sniper throws a rod directly at his head to try to take him out he dodges it though takes it and blocks the rest of the chakra rods with it then he goes behind him he turns around and then naruto kicks him Stretch bro out, pause, made his ass take up half the screen, got him looking like boo. After getting splashed in the water, Naruto goes on complete offense, rushes him and sends him flying back. And this is the same setup for the Sasuke combo, send your opponent flying back before re-engaging and you got him right where you want. Naruto turns and looks at Sasuke and Sasuke looks at him and Naruto just like, hey bruh, did Michael Jordan use the fadeaway once? Did Steve Jobs make one iPhone? No. So I'm gonna have to run it back. Puts Ishiki in the Sasuke combo. And you know Sasuke had to look away. This is too traumatizing. He goes at him again. Gets blocked twice. Then punches the water. And out of it comes the most majestic Rasengan I've ever seen. I looked in it and thought, yeah, this gonna be a one shot. Naruto charges at Ishiki, goes through all of his attacks. And completely boom. This was straight up just a storm finisher. I thought he was cooked. He flies out, hits the wall, and falls back down. His body is completely intact. I was surprised. Naruto starts walking him down. And I'm just like, yeah, he finished anyways. But Naruto had the same symptoms as DJ Khaled walking a block. He was tired. And I'm just like, no. He was really beating his ass for the whole episode. You can't do this to him. Naruto falls to his knees though and starts losing his abilities. And Ishiki takes full advantage of that. Starts walking towards him. But from the depths of hell, Itachi with the fadeaway. Throws a pathogen right at him and gives him AIDS. <coughs> he falls to his knees as his insides were looking like a shipment match. And I'm just sitting here praying on his downfall. They both get up getting ready to run the fade for one last time. And bro, the way this man Ishiki was getting his shit cooked, I'm surprised he didn't attack the cameraman. Look at this gut punch, left hook, right hook, gut punch. And that was just the start. He goes back in and hits him with three headshots. Have my boy's arms flailing. He really had me weak though. He put up the boxing form like that was about to save him. And anytime he does something, it's like he gets punished for it. Look at him, tries to throw two punches. Punish me. Oh, I just caught you defending yourself? Punish me. Oh, you tired? Punish me. It was a sad day for my boy. Sure remind me of life. Oh, you supporting someone? You glazing. You just gave criticism? You hating. You just can't win out here. That boy Naruto was not allowing himself to get hit though, even in the fourth quarter. Straight dodges and parries. It was just unfair. Naruto punches him though and it sends him flying back. And he holds that Iron Man land. Naruto knows he doesn't have much time left and he's just trying to finish this right now. He jumps on him and starts repeatedly punching him but his stamina is way too low for all this. Ishiki notices the fatigue, chokes him and slams him to the ground. And this is where the 
the fight ends. Just like Goku's Ultra Instinct, the new form didn't give him that instant win. He was cooking him, but hey, that man just had a million bars of health and unlimited stamina. There's nothing much he could do. But yeah, thank you for 352k. We moving. Also, sub to the Lebrowskis.